Thank you. I now recognize the gentleman from Louisiana, Mr. Higgins. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Mills, can you can you can you clarify for America what is the what is the consumption of energy that's that we're talking about here as Americans try to grasp? Um, you know, what's the difference between a, a data center requirement and a and what kind of energy does AI draw? Why is that different from a business or a home? Will you, will you explain what we're talking about regarding the needs for the consumption of, of energy from our, clearly it has to come from our existing grid or the, the grid that we envision modernizing it in the near future if we're to participate in this, uh, this, this global competition to lead the, the emergence of AI and data technology. So could you, you clarify for America about how much energy is required for this? Well, it's, it has surprised a lot of people, Mr. Congressman, as, as you know. It's, uh, the computer age began, I was part of the beginning of the computer age as a young man designing and manufacturing microprocessors. And very few people thought about uh, computers in city size power consumption terms at that, at that time. There were a handful of forecasters who expected that to happen. I will say again, it happened because we make computing so efficient. Uh, the goal of making computers faster is to you have to make them more efficient. This is sort of the central requirement. But what it means in simple terms is, uh, well, every, everything we do, if you, you know, we're, we're, we're broadcasting this uh, hearing live to the internet, and of course that consumes energy. It's just hidden energy. Uh, and it consumes roughly as much as the, the people that are watching it, each person. It's their energy share of watching this hearing online is roughly equal to if they took a bus ride 10 or 20 miles. But may I ask if I can interject while a gentleman's explaining, Americans are watching something else if they're not watching this. <laughs> That's true. And, they, and the lights are on in this place, Correct. whether anyone's in this room or not. It's all using and energy. The, the energy, the, you know, the cameras are plugged in. So yes. regarding data centers, there's a there's a a failure to to grasp. It took me a while to grasp, and, and I'm asking you to clarify for America why do the envision data centers and AI technology? Why is the consumption of energy so massive? Because the quantity of information processed is even more massive. So a single data center now typically uses more power than a steel mill. We are building them by the hundreds, and we're not building hundreds of steel mills, although it would be nice if we built a few dozen. So the, the magnitude of information processing that goes on, and we measure this in bytes, which has no meaning. It's a, it's a term that is exotic, but we used to be amazed at a gigabyte and a, you know megabytes. These are measured in numbers that are literally astronomical. The quantity of data being processed and will be processed to do everything that we've heard from this, this, these our witnesses, my colleagues, uh, it will keep expanding, whether it's medical care or entertainment. Okay, so our existing grid cannot, ha if we were to win the race, <laughs> we don't have the grid to, to carry right. the victory, do we? That's correct, that's correct, sir. That's right, so modernization of the grid it, across the country is, is, would you say that's a, that's a paramount consideration? modernization of the grid and the opportunity for private players to produce power that doesn't have to be on grid. Yes, sir. Both. Roger that. Okay. It was brought up earlier regarding the need for fresh water for, for, for cooling. Can you comment on that from an energy perspective? Uh, cooling is a challenge. These are very hot processors. They, the surface of each chip is hotter than the surface of the sun. It's a crazy, crazy number. It's hard, hard to cool them. It takes a lot of water. I think what you'll see increasingly is data centers cited where there aren't water challenges and there are not transmission challenges. but Because commonly, some of the, le the least expensive energy sources are where you also have some of the least water. That's a challenge, that's is, correct. Is that right. correct? That is correct. Often. So th these are serious challenges. Um, in my remaining half a minute, uh, Mr. Levi, would you please address the supply chains? We have, cons we have concerns regarding materials and components necessary for us to engage in this competition that we intend to win. 
Uh, thank you, Representative uh, Higgins. I very much appreciate the question. And yes, we have some very significant supply chain constraints, uh, much of which is really electrical components, and it's a matter of finding transformers, switch gears. Should we be building those components in America, sir? Uh, we should, and as an industry, we're leaning into supply chain to try and source as much here as we can. Yes, sir. Roger that. Thank you, sir. Mr. Chairman, my time has expired. I yield.